Now, it's a nasty disease that robs a sufferer of movement and speech, yet they're completely aware of what's going on around them. Father of three, Glenn Sargood, is one of hundreds of Australians crippled by motor neurone disease. But a remarkable new invention has given Glenn his life back. And for the first time in years, he's able to communicate. Here's David Richardson. You know, you've gone from somebody who's running around on the soccer field playing soccer every weekend, running around out the back with the kids, to, uh, you know, to somebody who has to sit there and have things done for him. It was, you know, a huge, huge transformation and change for us. Five short years from diagnosis to this. Glenn Sargood has motor neurone disease, a condition that robs people of their muscles as nerves that control the body degenerate and die. It leaves a healthy mind trapped inside a shell, screaming to get out. Because the man you married is still trapped inside there. That's right, yep, yep, still the same person, just, you know, physically can't do anything, can't speak anymore, and, um, but you know, that, yeah. That same person that I fell in love with many years ago is, um, you know, is still there. For four years, Glenn has sat in a cocoon of silence, unable to speak, unable to write, unable to move. He knew what he wanted to say. He just couldn't get it out. And um... That must have been terrible, Glenn. They're just... You're screaming inside. No. Yes, that you, you know what you want to say, but you can't... So hard very hard. Well, you're not going to believe this. Clearly, you have some school work to do. I'm sure that you do. I did, I did half of it yesterday. Can I do the rest tomorrow? Yes. Glenn can now talk thanks to an invention called the NeuroSwitch. NeuroSwitch takes an electrical signal from inside a muscle, even if the muscle is non-functional, and lets the person use that signal to control everything on a computer. This is the learning curve. If this is man it, looks this familiar, so he should. But first up this morning, more shocks in the Howard government's crisis over ministers' shareholdings. Former Channel 7 and CNN newsreader Peter Ford, who, while reading the news, was also spending his spare time writing computer code. The very first thing I wanted to do when I was working in a research and development lab in Atlanta uh, 35 years ago was to do everything on the computer but with just a couple of buttons. Hello, how are you? Take simple instructions like an up, down arrow and use that instead to choose every letter on the alphabet and every number, we could start providing communication with a very small movement. And it all came down to the minimum amount of movement, which then was just a fingertip. Constant trial and error and refinement led to success. The neuro switch, which enables people written off as totally incapacitated to operate computers, wheelchairs, without having to move more than a muscle, literally, like Glenn. It was really nice. I think the first time Glenn typed, you know, I love you, was just beautiful because, you know, I know he loves me, but he hadn't, for so long, hadn't actually been able to say those three words. Words his three kids hadn't heard in years. I know the first word he said to all of us kids. It was because it's like in the box that he uses, he can just type it up straight away. And it was, hello, how are you? What did you think? Pretty cool. I mean, we can like come home, I can tell dad how my day was and he can like respond. And then we can also, if I'm like, need to talk to him about something, I can talk to him and not, and actually like get a response back. How do you make it all work, Glenn? Oh, like Mr Spock. <laughs> so you simply use that and that lets you access everything. Yeah. It's an amazing experience to see this. Is your life now much improved because of this? Yes. Are you happier? Yes. If you could sum up in one word how you feel now that you can talk to us, what would that word be? Amazing. Part of me says, why me? Why pick on me? Um, I think I've done reasonable things with my life. I don't deserve it. Recently turned 70, John Hilditch now knows he has motor neurone disease. 
He can still walk and do his beloved word games and puzzles, but he's slowly losing control of his body. That was very scary because I sat there and the doctor said, well, you've got two to ten years and that'll be it. But I felt very fortunate because some people are dead in six months. The few things added, these are mouse controls. Yeah. These numbers up here, one through ten, correspond to word predictions. Same as the one on your telephone, on your yeah. cell phone. Yeah. So, so John chose to act way. now yeah. and get Neuro switched on, the first ever in South Australia. Peter Ford is preparing John. Using a muscle pulse in his arm and a tiny movement in a finger, giving John time to practice before everything else shuts down, to train him to remain in the world, not lost to it. And it's the communication with family, friends and Linda, as we said. Everybody knows somebody who is facing this kind of challenge. And what they should know now is that there's a way to address it very quickly, very easily and over a long period of time. Amazing, yes.